pause. Okay. All right. So I am just going, I'm going to go into student view, see how this works. Um, I am on the Mrs. Metz homepage. So would you please get into your Mrs. Metz Canvas homepage? Give you a couple of seconds to do that. So you guys um, are listening to my voice, okay? You should not be staring at this meeting right now, but you're listening to my voice so that you can follow instructions. Show me a thumbs up. Are you all on the Mrs. Metz homepage? If you'll show me a thumbs up in the camera, Jordan, turn your camera on, please. Cameras need to be on. If you don't want to be in the screen, I understand. Just kind of show the top of your head. I just need to know you're there. That's all. Thumbs up. We're all on the Mrs. Metz homepage. So it looks like we're all on the Mrs. Metz homepage. Um, quickest way to get to these is to click on modules. I did go through the motions to extend the due date on this. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I don't think it's due till Friday anyway. But that's okay. So we're going to click on this map. So you're going to click on modules. Did y'all see what? I mean, y'all didn't see. But you're going to go click on modules. It's on the list on the left, right? Once you get to my homepage, there's a list on the left. You're going to go click on modules. Week 18 shows up at the top. So just in week 18, if you have other weeks open, I suggest you click on the little arrow and close them so your screen doesn't get all cluttered. So then scroll down a little bit. And you'll see under social studies, it says Mrs. Metz homeroom. And you're going to click on the social studies week 18, D2 Tuesday. Please turn on your cameras. Cameras on, please. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to open up the social studies W18, D2 Tuesday. And this is the video from yesterday, so there will be another one on there for today. I'm going to open the file. Hang on just a second. Hang on. I know a couple of you have your hands raised. Hang on just a second. Let me click through this and get this open, and then I'll pause it again. Um, I know I'm recording right now, but I'm not going to say anybody's names. Guys, it's kind of important that you leave your camera on and not be moving around. Two reasons. When your screen is going black and then turning on, going black and turning on, it's a massive disruption. So please leave it on. Some of you are moving around. I need you to find a place to sit. Cannot have you moving around because that is also a massive disruption. If your camera is having issues, you need to shut your entire computer down, all the way down, and then turn it all the way back on. And that doesn't mean you just sign out. It means you shut it off for about 30 seconds and then turn it back on. All right, getting back to our assignment so we can get this done. Um, so. Yesterday, we just kind of looked at this, but I wanted to walk through how to add um, these symbols so that we can follow the instructions to complete this map. And I'm going to be doing it with you, okay? So you may have to either go split screen or you may have to toggle. Toggle means go back and forth between this meeting and the assignment because you're going to, you might have to watch me for a second or after you kind of catch on to what we're doing, you might be able to do it yourself and you will no longer have to come back. Don't log off the meeting. You just won't be staring at the meeting. You'll be staring at your assignment. But yesterday, we just started with coming over here to your menu items. And I noticed when some of you I looked at, yours actually says add media. And if yours actually says add media at the bottom of that list, that's even cooler because then you already see it. So I want you to click on the button that says add media. Click on the button that says add media. 
and you then should have another little drop down menu that pops up and it'll have like a folder, the little Google Drive sign, and then the G. I want you to, excuse me, click on the G. Click on the G. So you should be in your Cami file clicking on the G. And when you click on that G, it's a Google image search and I will tell you what you can type in that is going to get you closest to the symbol that we're looking for. I'm looking at a couple of people's computer. You guys are staring at the meeting. I can see your computer. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna turn the chat on for the cami. So if you have a question, you can just click on that chat button at the bottom and shoot me a question. You don't have to get out of the cami. But don't don't just start randomly asking me questions to the point where I can't teach. I've got to be able to teach. Okay? So listen to my voice first to make sure that you're following instructions. So everybody needs to be in this cami file, please. Everybody needs to be in this cami file. Are you in my home room? You need to be in this cami file. All right. Some of you are not in it yet, but I hope that you are listening and you can still follow directions after the fact, or you may have to go back and watch the video. So on my screen, I have my Google image search pop up open. I'm going to type in there symbol S-Y-M-B-O-L. You're going to type in S-Y-M-B-O-L symbol for natural N-A-T-U-R-A-L. Um, let me see if I can type that into the chat real quick. Oh wait, I turned it off. So inside of the, the image search, so for Google image search, type symbol S-Y-M-B-O-L for natural N-A-T-U-R-A-L gas. Why is that not? Yeah. Okay, so an announcement's going to pop up. Once you've read it, click OK. And if you look at my screen, the second one that pops up is the same symbol that's in our image. So I don't know if you can see this, but the, this one right here, the one that I have the blue box around, if you're looking at my meeting, is the one that we're going to use. I'm looking to see. Okay, so some of you have it clicked. Some of you have it selected. That's fantastic. So I want you to select on the one that looks like ours, it's the second one. It's the second one. You're gonna click it. And then a blue box shows up around it and down here at the bottom left of your screen, you should see the word select. Click select. And it might show up, cannot insert image because it is corrupted and not in a supported format. All right, well then I'm gonna go find another one, okay? So I am going to go find another one. I'm going to go to Add Media. I'm going to click on the G. This is a learning process, guys. I'm going to type it again. Symbol for natural gas. We might have to use a different one. Yeah, we'll use a different one. So for me, it's row one, two, three, four, five. So five rows down at the very end is another one we're gonna try.
fifth row down, at the very far right, fifth row down, because it looks like your search is coming up the same thing as mine is. Oh, y'all's is bigger than mine. I see. I see. Wonder if I can copy this to you. Well, that works. Let me see if I can send it to you. We're about to see if this works. Can y'all click on that link? No. Okay. That's no fun. It looks like y'all are getting it inserted. Look at that. Y'all are getting it inserted. Y'all are getting it. Y'all got it. Y'all got it. Um, hang on a second. Well, you just have to find the same one that we're using. You may have to, like, scroll down and find the one that we're using. Okay, well, hang on a second. Let me look at your screen real quick. Okay, let me... Okay, so scroll back up. Okay, so I want you to type in symbol for natural gas. Symbol for natural gas. You're gonna, I'm going to spell it out for you. S Y. Oh, you already have it on your screen, though. Go back to your file. Close that image search. I saw it on your file already. You have it. Oh, no, you were looking at the meeting. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, go back up. I'm sorry. Okay, ready to type? It's symbol S Y M B O L of natural N A T. U R A L. Gas, G A S. There you go. And then search. And then scroll down because that one doesn't work. No, that one doesn't work. You're going to have to select another one. Yeah, scroll down. Okay, go back up. There was one, I don't know what row it is. Go one more down. Oh, go another one down. I saw it just a second ago. Nope, although that one looks cool. Go back up. Okay, so right next to the bus. There was one that was right next to a bus when you scrolled up. Yeah, right there on the same row as the cherries. Right there. Yeah, select that one. We'll use that one. Perfect. We'll use that one. All right. So what I'm going to do is it says this symbol. Okay, so that one says draw one north of Amarillo and one north of Fort Worth and one northeast of Waco. So I need three of them. Okay. I need three of them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click it and it's gonna have it, um, we're gonna see if this works. I'm gonna see if I can make a copy and paste it. It's 
not gonna let me. I want to copy, I want, I want more. How do I get more of these? Anybody know how to make duplicates of this? Yeah, you gotta use the mouse key and you gotta hold over it and then hit control C and then hit control V. Oh, rock solid. Thank you. Thank you so much. Did y'all catch that? Oh my, and I do I need to shrink them because those are the size of my map and I certainly don't want that. So we need three of them. I am going to make these smaller, by the way. Because if they're really big, they will take up the whole space. I know I, I'm hearing the bleeps. Hang on just a second. I'm not looking at the meeting because I'm looking at your I'm looking at your screens right now. Oh, but I see that y'all have questions in the chat. Hang on a second. <laughs> Yay. Hang on a second. Hang on. Hang on, guys. I know some of you have questions, but I can only help one person at a time. Um... Okay, hang on a second. Um. Hang on just a second. I know y'all need me. Hang on. Hang on. Um, I'm going through my list and I can, oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, Guys, I know some of you need me. I can hear the, the bloop, bloop, bloop of the hand raise thing. I need you to wait. Because I can only help one person at a time. It's only like two. It turn me off and turn it back on. Oh, okay. All right, so I have some of you going, what do I do now? Um, if you're wait okay. if you're waiting on me and you've already made three copies of that symbol, then hang on just a second. I'm trying to make sure that everybody's caught up. When we do something new, it does take... When we do something new, oh, it does take a minute. So y'all are gonna have to have some patience. This is where grace and patience is very important right now. Oh, um. Hang on. I'm catching up. Catching up.
I've got people asking me how to copy and paste, so I'm trying to make sure they have that. Okay, so I've typed this like for the fifth time. If you are still wondering about um, copying and pasting, you have to click on the image. And then once it's got the like the blue line around it or hover over it. No, you hover over the image so that it has a blue box around it. Okay, hover over the image so that it has a blue box over it. Then click, hold down the control C button. That will copy it. Click control C to copy it. And then control V will paste it. So hover over the image till there's a blue box around it. Click control C to copy. Then control V to paste it. If you're still looking to copy the symbol, hover over it. You're going to hover over the image till there's a blue box. Then click Control C to copy. Control V to paste. And guys, if I'm messaging you back and my words are misspelled, I stink at typing. No. Hang on a second. 